What the hell is happening here? What the hell is happening here? What has happened to the franchise? The first season is kind of a drunken blur, with all the swearing and eye gouging and vomiting. Sheer fucking hubris. Shut the fuck up. Sorry, I had to fucking ruin it. I hate that fucking hospitality autograph. Somebody else could buy that fucking synth. Why does it have to be me? All that gratuitous violence, edgy, bleak, dystopian bollocks, plot lines that make no sense. Seven of Nine is a lesbian? I'm some sort of weird, freakish, reincarnated android Frankenstein. Gene, please forgive Alex. He hasn't got a clue what he's doing. Excellent question, Jean-Luc. Oh dear, you're a bit older than I imagined. Mon Capitaine, how I've missed you. X? What are you doing here? It's Q. My name is Q. Remember, Jean-Luc? Your greatest nemesis? Nemesis? Yes! I remember that one! It was the final film of Star Trek The Next Generation. That was a rather mediocre film we did back in 2002. But it was light years better than what's considered Star Trek these days. Oh, X, Q, please... Snap your fingers again, and this time, erase all Star Trek from 2009 onwards. Let's just have a blank slate. No more J.J. Abrams, Alex Kurtzman Star Trek. It's been a total shit show. I mean, look how derivative and unimaginative this second season of Star Trek Picard is going to be. Welcome, my friend, to the very end of The Road Not Taken. Yet another timey-wimey, alternative universe story arc, caused by the tired, overused plot device of time travel. Didn't we already do such a story together called Tapestry in the sixth season of Star Trek The Next Generation? Time has been broken. We can save the future, and I will get us home together. <laughs> oh, what a shocker. Seven of Nine without the Borg implant above her eye. Truly a jaw-dropping moment to leave a trailer on. It's not like audiences haven't already seen Seven of Nine without her eye implant before. Q, please, save the franchise before it's too late. I need you!